the Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations, through its Early Childhood Services Unit, ECSU, has been working collaboratively with local health authorities to ensure the safe reopening of the early childhood sector on the island. Authorities from the Department of Environmental Health have been conducting island-wide inspections of the various early childhood centers to ensure compliance to the guidelines provided in collaboration with the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards. As such, the early childhood sector reopened on a phased basis with all approved private sectors resuming operations on Tuesday, 6 April 2021. Government-operated centers will reopen their doors on Monday, 19 April 2021. Only centers which have met the approved guidelines and demonstrate a sense of readiness to receive children in a safe and conducive environment have been granted approval to reopen. Ruth Phillips Favrier is the training officer in the Early Childhood Development Services Unit. Based on those protocols, all early childhood centers were expected to produce a COVID-19 response plan, which outlined in great detail all the measures they would be putting into place at the centers to ensure the safety, well-being, protection, and health of the children, staff, and parents. Those plans were approved by our unit, and then they were forwarded to the Department of Environmental Health, where the health inspectors went out to every early childhood center to ensure that they were in compliance with the plans they had presented to us and that things were in place in keeping with the stipulated guidelines. We would like to say that we are aware that a few of the early childhood centers have not been visited as yet and as such they have not been allowed to reopen because reopening was contingent upon approval from the Department of Environmental Health. I would like to assure these administrators and staff members that the centers will be visited during the week of April 6, and upon approval from the department, they will be given the go-ahead by the unit to also resume their operations. The authorities are urging the centers to adhere to the established protocols. Mr. Phillips Favre says there will be constant assessments. Both the officers from the Department of Environmental Health and the officers at the Early Childhood Services Unit will be doing regular uh, uh, monitoring of those centers to assess how those protocols are being implemented and to ensure adherence and compliance to them. We would like to commend the administrators and staff of the, of the centers for the tremendous effort and resources expended in ensuring that they met that, um, those criteria. And from cursory comments and discussions, we are satisfied that they have complied fully and we want to encourage them that this has to be continuous. Maintenance and adherence cannot be compromised. Training officer in the Early Childhood Development Services Unit, Ruth Phillips Favrier.